In this video, we'll be looking at the wiring and installation of the backup interface. The backup interface allows the full or partial home backup. So to start with, mount the bracket onto the wall using fixings appropriate to the wall material to be able to support the weight of the backup interface. To access all of the connections, you need to remove the cover. The back of interface has provision to date conduit entries from 32 to 40 mil. So for the AC connections from the grid, you can use between six to 16 mil CSA cable to the loads between 4 to 10, or if a generator is being connected, between 4mm and 16mm. So the backup interface, if wired for whole home backup, as we are showing here, is wired between the grid supply and all of the loads. So what we're doing here is we're taking the incoming supply from the grid, then from that, we're then taking it to an MCB, to the backup interface, from the backup interface, back to this board to its own dedicated MCB, which then supplies all of the home load circuits. So the backup interface requires a comms connection between itself and the energy hub inverter. So you need to wire the ground A and B connections, as well as a 12 volt power supply.
The backup interface also has inside it a CT. So the CT connection can also be connected back to the Energy Hub inbuilt Modbus meter. Once all the connections are made, simply replace the cover. Tightening all the screws to 3 Nm. Then inside the Energy Hub DCD, you need to wire the communications cable to the backup interface terminals, ground A and B, as well as the 12 volt power supply. And the CT connection can be connected into the CT L1 terminal. And finally, fit the small 9 volt battery into the supplied terminal in the DCD. And that concludes the wiring of the backup interface to the Solar Edge Energy Hub inverter. Replace the cover of the DCD, and that concludes the installation.